Hey everybody, it's been a while since I last posted any face videos on here. Honestly, I was debating on where to put this video, but as you could probably tell from the title, this does concern my, this, these guys in the back here. Um, yeah, so again, as you could probably tell, this is me fixing my, um, k-pop shelf and this is also basically condensing the groups i collect so i will be taking out some um k-pop groups here and i will be selling their albums as well as their photo cards um yeah so the f the products that will be uh for sale or for trade or for all of that stuff will be um on my uh instagram page my trade and sale page which has been inactive for quite a bit um but i will be bringing it back to life again so there's that it will be a long process of putting things up on there but um Thank you so much guys for your patience as you can see there's been like huge like gap here all of a sudden so up until recently my uh so this is not k-pop related but i do have an etsy store in terms of like budgeting products and all of that stuff downloadables uh printables um physical stuff i do have all of that shameless plug i will leave a link down below in the description box also really sorry for the shadow effect uh i'm using natural lighting and the shadow effect is the camera itself <laughs> but anyways i digress um yeah so the products i used to build my to make my uh products were all on here but my cousin recently moved out and the space she was using in her living room as her like makeshift bedroom all of my uh basically business stuff is there so like my cricket so i do make stickers um not really stickers i haven't gotten to the sticker point yet but i am planning on soon my laminators printers um all that stuff have been moved so now all of a sudden i have space up here but the thing was this these used to be up here anyway um but yeah and i have other like bts things to collect like to collect put away that have no space right now so kind of kind of happy that this video is being done but yes so in terms of my collection itself bts is my biggest one so i'll just keep going with that one um but other groups that i will stop collecting i will keep listening to them don't worry i still love the group it's just i'm not as passionate as like a collector anymore some albums and photo cards have been claimed by some of my friends so probably when i post the video those things they want are gone it's not gonna be on the list but you'll see them on here anyway so um yeah so without further ado let's get to it honestly this vlog is probably mostly going to be montages but do forgive me for that one So, gotten rid of the f top part, and honestly, I don't know how I'll be doing the setup because I'm still like thinking about it. Uh, but what I'm probably gonna do is this part will probably be uh, s my K pop stuff still, BTS still, because the top shelves are BTS. Um, and then it's gonna be untouched until whatever else they release that I have fine space there and then this part of the shelf will be my like miscellaneous so yeah cuz I do have this head st headphone stand and my headphones are like just hanging off of my mic here as you can probably see I don't want that cuz like it'll probably fall um, yeah and I have my Polaroid and other knickknacks that I do want to put on there so I'll probably do that uh, this one will probably just be merch so all of these things so we'll, we'll, we'll see if I like it
I also need to learn to stop sneaking things in the middle of spaces that are there that are not K-pop related. <laughs> yeah, so what I'll probably be doing is I'll probably show it to you guys. So this part right here is just Japanese album, Japanese albums, and then small other merch, and then whatever the heck I put on here, I will fix that one. Um, but the cape, uh, the Korean albums that are here, will be moved. Sorry for the creaking sound. It's the, it's a, it's a, it's a tripod. But yeah, so the K-pop stuff will be moved here. Uh, yeah, because I feel like because of this amount of space. It has more freedom to move around so especially because like apparently Jungkook's releasing a new album in July so there's that and then I just got these so yeah so as of the filming of this video I have filmed the unboxing for this but probably the unboxing for this will come out first so there's that yeah see I even have manga in here I mean my manga are in the bottom section not in the k-pop stuff but I also have washi tape. Where? Wh why? <laughs> so yeah. So, oh yeah, and then one specific album doesn't have a space and it's this big boy right here. So I probably have, I finally have space for him. Um, I'll just leave him up here actually. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Now the problem is, where the heck do I put Jimin's albums? Hmm. Yeah, no. And technically, there's still one Korean album here, which is the BTS World album. And then O R U L A T E, not O R U L A T E. Uh, Too Cool for School is also still here. Yeah, my buddy won't fit here. Um, I mean, I could probably just put this in the back as well, honestly. Yeah, it fits. And I did buy the Weaver's version as well. It's somewhere on my desk. I'll... Oh, it's here. Never mind. So I have all three versions of Jimin's album. Probably leave face there, honestly. Or here. Oh, hell yeah. And I only have such a small amount of uh, BTS's like Japanese albums. <sighs> and I don't want to separate or like, not or like. I keep saying or like too cool for school. I don't want to separate this. The first album. Honestly, I meant honestly just leave it like this. <laughs> Can we make a ladder effect here? I guess. And then we'll put. Hold up, I'm cooking. Okay, the butter still fits. There you go. I have all of their Japanese albums showing. Japanese, Korean. What the heck's wrong with me? Now this. I mean, I might. Hmm. I was I, I did say I was gonna move that I was gonna keep this these things here. Honestly I might just move it in that spot. Um yeah. Just so I can find some space for Jimin's album I guess. The only Funko Pops in my room. Cause I loathe Funko Pops. Right, I have this hidden because it's so big. And I have BTS World as well. <laughs> and I realized this entire basket is all BTS. And I think the reason why I had that, this guy out here, was because it doesn't fit. <laughs> yeah, no. 
Yeah, I have two of it. And then I have TXT. Yeah. One will be on sale for sale for probably hella cheap. And then I have an extra copy of uh, Wannabe. Not Wannabe, the title is Wannabe. But It's Me from Itzy. Some albums I might, I'll be selling with the photo cards, some I won't, so they're gonna be like the ones that have no photo cards, they will be discounted. See, my collection is like hella unorganized now that like a lot of like, what, what is TXT doing here? <laughs> then what is this? Oh, the posters from Jimin and Jungkook's folio. I'll probably sneak it here, I guess. And then these are other small trinkets. Of like some fan goods and like official stuff. Cause yeah, I have Jimin's wings one here. The notes, socks, BT21 fan, the wings poster, and then some other stuff. Yeah, no, I'm not touching that. So that's gonna stay there. Okay. And a random Zhongli print. Honestly. Oh, if you guys could hear a whirring sound, by the way, that's my fan. It's like hella warm right now because it's getting closer to the summer season. Um, for Jimin's albums, honestly, just because like, I have these th three for like their special Japanese albums, I'll leave it as is and I'll just put Korean albums here, I guess. Um, and honestly, I'll do that. And then... Do the folios have space here? And I'll put the folios here. There we go. Um, and then in terms of like other stuff that's BTS, I have a cookie one here. It's because the CD is here. I should... Uh, hold on. I'm just gonna take off the CDs and put them here. There we go. Actually, hold up. So cookie there. Um, what other BTS stuff do I have here? Also there. Jimin here. Probably take the photo card from here and put it in my binder. And then leave this guy somewhere here. So no space. I have a Jimmy there. Do you have anything else? Oh gosh, the Funko Pops. Bruh. Oh, and I have a Jimin one here as well. Wait, hold up. I'm just gonna leave Cookie there. And then I'll do this. Can I stack them? Are they stackable? I mean, they are, yes. But like, not in the height of my shelf. I tried. It ain't stackable here either. I mean, it, it is what it is. Let's work on the small <laughs> section I have here because I put the Funko Pops there, so now I'm more limited to space. Hmm. Of like what to put in here, I mean. Okay. So. My headphones there. I have the HyperX ones. Cloud wireless. Not sponsored. Yeah, no, so I was fine with like not a lot of space up here. Oh. So right now, I also randomly. <laughs> two PS5 controllers. Let's put them there. Alright. So, what do I do with this collection now? What do I do with this section? I th and I think that's done. I'll show you guys an in-depth look in a bit. But for now, let's move on to the, the shelf right here. So just to honestly make it in theme, I'll probably put the boy groups here that I'll still keep collecting, by the way. And then the other trinkets, I'll just move it around. Yeah, no, look at, hold on. Like, look at this. 
So the boy group, wow, you can totally see them. The boy group stuff is down here. So literally look at this, a journal. A manga that I've yet to read actually until I met my husband some Genshin cards my stapler the, like literally this shit I put the most random stuff on my shelves so some albums uh, these are albums again Japanese albums and like older albums that they used to be sell like they used to sell in small amounts so I have TV excuse Merotic like volume C here I have Stray Kids, Stray Kids, Stray Kids. Tomorrow about to get, oh. Oh, I have this out cause um, I have two of them. Yes, I remember now. Yeah, and then Boa, Jijung, Toshinki, 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 Toshinki. I have a lot of Toshinki. So the guys here, basically, so TVXQ, Stray Kids, TXT, and boa <laughs> queen these are the these are some groups that i that will be staying in my collection so i will not be touching this so this is just going here all right well what are what are these oh my god oh i still have this i forgot about that we'll leave it there so i have some gotcha stuff off yunho and changmin I have an entire section of Stray Kids here, but I haven't been collecting some of their albums, but it's more... It's not even Stray Kids that I like stopped collecting for a period um, or buying things for. Um, it was a lot of groups, but Stray Kids is my next biggest collection, unironically, even if it's rather small in comparison to BTS, but I have a Felix card. See, I have... what? This isn't a sock. This is a sleeve i this is one of the special this is one of the more like special i guess albums i have so this is definitely not going okay here's a stack that might be going out so no i won't be letting go of super juniors uh third album sorry sorry um so here are some groups that will be leaving my collection so super m i have Timin. Honestly, I'll probably be keeping Taemin's version because Taemin, I guess. I will be selling uh, the Taeyong version I have though. And then <laughs> I love Seventeen. It's just Seventeen is one of the groups that I did want to start collecting at some point more consistently, but I just never got to it. So I will be letting go of my Seventeen collection. Um, yeah, so these guys are in perfect condition. Haven't left my shelf since they let, went on it. I have the June oopsies. I have the June um, Polaroid there. And then, yeah, no. Uh, I will probably be selling the photo card that this came with because I still do have that one. Uh, oh, this is one of the groups that's being claimed by my friends. I forgot. I have Monster X. This is also another one that I am letting go of. However, I do have a Monster X album here that I won't be letting go off, and that's this one. So this is their um, second album, Are You There? Oops. Um, so this was signed, and this is by One Hold. So there's that. I will be keeping this, but this Monster X album will be going on sale. And I think my friend Marquita is taking this one. And then I have uh, Superhuman from NCT 127. Got seven. I uh, I mean, at this point, these are like nostalgic albums that you'll be getting, I guess. Cause, um, yeah. Sorry, my video kind of cut off. But yeah, so this version right here, um, I did get uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh version, cause Yu-Gi-Oh was my bias, is my bias, not was, kind of still is. Um, there is that. So this pile, so far, um. And then I have albums here that have like uh, nostalgia streaming in them. So this I have, I believe this is uh, Super Junior's four, sixth uh, album, Sexy Free and Single. This one was the first ever K-pop album I like 
this was the album that kickstarted my collection so this one i normally don't collect super junior you guys probably saw i only have like one other album of theirs this is the this is the most special album honestly in this collection i love bts but this was what started my uh collection leg or hobbies leg um so this is gonna stay with me but yeah focus so this is the just two album by uh jb and yu gi this one I don't know. Uh, I maybe I guess. I don't know. I have to think about this album. And then here I have an ode by Seventeen. This one's so this is my going away pile, I guess. And then here I have the last of the boys here, which is TXT. And again. This is one of the groups that I will still keep collecting, so there's that. So I have all of these guys. I'm not updated with this as well, but now that I'm like getting back in the groove of collecting, I'll start buying the stuff I'm missing. And if I ever go back to Korea, I'll be buying the ones I'm missing, so... Honestly, I might just buy all of the missing albums I have there and just keep buying the new ones, so... Alright. Alright, so that has been gotten rid of quite a bit that got removed, I guess. So I do have some signed albums here as you could probably tell. So I have one of Chung's albums, her fourth mini flourishing signed queen. Then I have Itsy's First album signed, I see, by Yuna. Then I have another album. I'm just wiping it down. Because, I mean, it's in plastic, so. And then this one, their second album, uh, It's Me, is Leah. Oh, yeah. I think this is the this is the collection I have a lot to um, get rid of. So, wow, it's so dusty as well. So... Chongha will definitely stay because she is my uh, what to call this? My solo al uh, solo idol bias. Oh, I forgot I had other albums here that are. Oh gosh, yeah. I was like, why does this look so small? My boy stuff. I have merch for my boy groups. It's down here. <laughs> Okay, so in terms of the groups I or art, art, artists I'll keep, so Chongha is one of them. So I'll put the ones I don't like need on this side, I guess. While I'm still like, just so that I can remove things here. Oh yeah, and I got, I finally got my hands on her um, first studio album, Corencia. Um, and I think I ruined the packaging. Something must have spilled on it because what the heck? What the heck? It's because it's laying on the floor because there's no space for it. Holy, that's sad. That's my concern. I hope it didn't get to the album. Hold up. Oh gosh, it got to the poster and whatever's in the back here. Oh no. What the heck is this? Yeah, no, I was pretty sure the album was fine when I got it. Oh no. That's upsetting. Oh, this is so sad. This is such a good poster too. Look at this. But it was ruined. I honestly might get a second version of this. Just so I could throw like these guys out. And then just the... the, the the photo book will stay in my collection. Oh gosh. That's whatever this is. That's annoying. Okay, as for the albums I will be getting rid of. I no longer collect Red Velvet. Like, I have nothing to say, honestly. I still love Red Velvet. Irene is my bae. No pun intended, of course. <laughs> but it's just like, I don't have the drive to collect Red Velvet as much as I want Chonga. So, Red Velvet is the first of the female group to say goodbye to. Um, I do have quite a bit from them. So this was Rookie. Then I have RBB. 
I have uh, the River Festival finale. And I have like multiple copies of some too. One, one, <laughs> speaking of Irene, so one album will stay with me though, just for the sake of collection. Um, and it is the uh, Red Velvet Summer Magic Irene version. This one I will keep. I will keep that. But in terms of the other ones that, because I really was super like into Red Velvet. Um, that I went back and started buying their older albums, but these were the newer ones. I think this was my first um, Red Velvet album. Their uh, uh, The Red Summer. And I have the Revit Festival Day 2, I believe is what this is. And then Revit Festival The Finale is what this is. This is the, yeah, this is the other version. And then Revit Festival Day 2 is what, wait, what? Did I get both versions of Rebbe Festival? Oh. And I have Russian Roulette. And then their first ever album as a five member group. What was the name? Red, Vel Red Velvet. And then I got the, Rebbe the other Rebbe Festival ones as well. I'm literally complete with the Rebbe Festival. I have day one and day two. I have Irene's. Ver I will be keeping this. Forgot I ordered the Irene version for this. Yeah, no, the yeah I have the Yeti one for this one. I'm I'm still kind of thinking about what the heck happened with the, my uh, Chonga album. It was because this was on the floor. That was also just me. Ha, huh, that's Red Velvet right there. And then another group that I'm sad to let go off is Mamamoo. I love my queens, but yeah, it's hard to find their older albums, honestly. I'm getting rid of the- I only- I don't have a lot of them, uh, four albums. Um, so in terms of like anything Mamamoo, I will be- I am getting rid of like their albums, their group albums, but I do have a solo album I have that I'm not getting rid of because this is off my bias, so I have uh, Spit It Out by Solar, her first album. This one I will keep. In terms of- oh wow, other stuff that I'm getting rid of, twice. I am getting rid of my Feel Special albums. I have some markings here. Honestly, just because of the markings, I will keep this. Honestly, I'll keep this. But I will be letting go of this version. I think this is the third version, version C. I don't remember. There's that. And then I have this, just because uh, they're more and more. I put it in a plastic wrappy because it's white and white tends to oxidize. So it becomes off-white. That's why if you guys have seen a lot of my white albums are in plastic bags. But yeah, so this one literally is mint because I unboxed it, I believe, and then put it back. <laughs> and then their eyes wide open. This is a good album. Honestly, the photos are gorgeous. And I have the Mina album. Uh, Mina album, Mina CD. And then the, another eyes wide open version. I have Dion. For the CD plate and for this poster, I do have Cheong for this one. Um, for the other one, who did I have for here? Oh, this was a Mina album. Mina is my second bias. I unironically might keep this. <laughs> Kick. And then it's C. Obviously, these are my babies right now. Oh gosh, there's lots of albums here. So, yeah, Itsy. And then more Itsy. And then other so, uh, artists I will be keeping are my Ailey, Boa, Ailey, Heon. Oh, <laughs> Cha, Itsy. The voice is so big. Itsy. Irene and Sulgi's monster album. This one I will also keep just because like both of them are my top two biases. So there's that. And that is that for my female collection. Um, that's also quite a bit to let go of. Actually, no, I'm not done yet. I forgot that I still have other stuff at the bottom shelf right here. So, other groups I will keep. I have Way With Words by um, Card. This was their last album before Jacef went on um, 
his military service he's back now but I do have all four of their uh, signatures on here so there's that I don't have lots of eight pink albums honestly but one in six I have their one in six here this one's also going I have their percent the red version this one's going on I will be selling this as well I have Idol's first two albums I am and I made and then I have another what the heck why did I have a separate I have this as well fancy from twice I have the I uh, I have two eyes one um, albums here color eyes and hard eyes their first two I believe is what this is oh my god there's so many now I will be keeping this 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 is Sunmi. I have Jenny's solo album as well. This one I will keep as well. And then... That's where my black marker was. And then I have Cards albums. I have the entirety of Cards discography up until like after Jacef's release. So their latest album, album or albums. But again, like I said, um... I might just honestly, when I visit Korea again, I'll probably be getting the, those albums there. The older ones. I'll just keep buying new ones right now. So we'll see if I can honestly fit all of this here. Because I probably can. But holy, that's a lot of girl group albums that I'm getting rid of. Wow. I got two versions of Wayward Words. I love that. Supportive Queen. I got an unsigned version and a signed version. Alright, boom. It has been arranged as much as I wanted to. So, um, my battery died. That's why I it ended like that earlier. But I don't want to wait for the camera and um, just leave it out right so what I'm uh, gonna do probably my next investment is a battery an ex a spare battery for this guy right here just so when I'm vlogging I'm not gonna have a repeat of something like that but yes yeah, so so I'm very happy with how this guy turned out but yeah in terms of a more in-depth like um, um, look here so BTS stuff again BTS stuff here and then this part is more BTS, BTS Japanese albums, their folio stuff, some small trinkets. This one has TVXQ, uh, Jaejung, JYJ, Junsu, Jaejung again. I separated his albums, nice. Um, TXT, I have TXT in the back there as well. And then I have Sexy Free and Single in the back. And then this guy won't. I guess I'm gonna have some stray kids right here and then card and then I have uh, Jonghyun's album here and then some albums of like mix mix groups and then here I have my girl group portion so here I have Solar's album uh, monster there so Solgi and Irene or oh, Irene knows so whichever um, I have the two big itsy albums here um, a uh, no Taeon Jenny Eli, Boa, Sunmi, and then I have the two Red Velvet albums I own. And then these are all Itzy, signed Itzy, Chonga signed, the other uh, signed Itzy album, twice, and then Chonga, and then some TVXQ and JYJ merch down here. And then these are this basket specifically is all K-pop and then just random things on there. Yeah, some oh yeah, and this uh the stay in playground by Stray Kids and then stay in London for Stray Kids. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to clean the rest of these. But yeah, your girl's a mess. But um despite the random cutoff of the vlog, hope you guys enjoyed. So these are forgive this part right here but here are all of the albums that are going to be for sale um they will go live on my trade and sell page i will leave a link down below in the description box for where that will be available i'll also be making a separate video just to show which albums are going to be on there and then here i actually have some binders 
as you can see I have a teal one right here a blue red and then uh, orange back there and then a white one so I will have to purge some of the photo cards there as well just because a lot of that are uh, I, out of that one two out of my five uh, photo cards there those are uh, three of that is BTS actually two are the other uh, groups so it's separated into girl groups and boy groups so I'll be removing a lot of the girl groups and a few of the boy groups but you guys don't have to see all of that because that's gonna be on another video just so I can have content for you guys because I haven't uploaded anything on this channel for a while so I'm also just looking for stuff to upload for you guys just because like collecting is kind of like getting back into my system again so I do want to showcase all of that to you guys again but yeah for now that is that for today's k-pop collection rearrangement video hope you guys enjoyed once again thank you guys for watching thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel for more uh k-pop related videos and remember to keep on shining Bye bye